Popeye host over there was not Janie. It was Captain Jim. And Captain Jim later became the sales manager at my Channel 6 station. Well, then who replaced him? No, it wasn't Janie. It was Happy Herb. Happy Herb later went on. Why he didn't get named Captain Herb, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. He then became a very successful salesman at a TV station in Chicago. Um, over on Channel 8, Bob Warren did Nosy the Clown uh, for a very uncertain time in my mind. And then there was a fellow named Don Abbott who didn't become a children's character. He just did a couple of children's shows, almost like a a quiz show, if you will. One of the people that I feel was really outstanding was Bill Jackson at Channel 13. He used puppets and he was not, not influenced by Sesame Street. He did his own thing and created his own puppets. Another category before Channel 20 ever came on were the kindergarten college type of programs and Barbara Medlicott uh, was one of the first here in town, and I think they called her Miss Barbara. There was a fellow named George Williford who did a, not a children's show, but a morning comedy show. And then another fellow named Don Melvoin came to town from Grand Rapids or uh, someplace in Michigan. And, uh, but he was more, again, like George, an adult entertainer and would not have been in the uh, children's show category. Oh, Sammy Terry. Oh, he was on 28 or 29 years. What a f wonderful tribute to him. I think if his health had held up, he probably would be on it <laughs> to this very day because he really did a good job. And he started out, maybe he did I think he at one point did very briefly for Channel 4, a children's show. I think that pretty well covers the waterfront on, on some of our folks on the other channel. Well, we didn't talk about Jeannie. She, of course, followed uh, uh, Cowboy Bob. Cowboy Bob was a crewman on her show, and he worked behind the cameras, and she was nice enough to include him in a couple of things. Pretty soon he's coming on more often, then pretty soon he's bringing his dog on, then pretty soon he's bringing his horse on, and I think, guess they finally decided they better give him his own show. So that worked out very nicely. And uh, the shame of it all is about the only time we saw these people was at the parades. We never got to see each other too much uh, other times. But Janie and Bob and I uh, occasionally do shows together and uh, have a wonderful time. You know, people say, well, how did you come up with all of those ideas for different things? And the majority of them were just things I has enjoyed as a kid. I enjoyed kite flying. I enjoyed sledding. I enjoyed getting messed up with the sand. And there's one little story there where the kids are covering me up with sand and having a grand time. But I was lucky enough to grow up in Indianapolis near Brookside Park and Spades Park and a, a couple of other uh, different places. And I really enjoyed being, the only thing that ever scared me was when the big kids would dump you. Now that's a term that kids today wouldn't even have any idea with but they would get hold of your back runner and dump you as you were going down the hill on your sled. Go-kart racing. Now that's another thing that we did that I didn't get to do as a kid, obviously, but boy, I sure acted like one <laughs> when I got a chance to do it at one of the local go-kart tracks. But isn't it kind of sad? Is it just me? Or I bet, bet you even think about this sometimes that, that those things were so simple and innocent and and yet we're so much fun. Everything is so automated. Everything is so high tech. We don't have the simple pleasures that, uh, that, that we used to with uh, some of those things. 
and Curly being the father of five children and my having children, we kind of borrowed, I'm sure, not only from our own growing up days, but from seeing our children grow up. Children's Museum, what a wonderful, exciting place. And every year, all of their decorations were different. So it gave us new material. And all we had to do, the tough job was for the cameraman because the lighting was so terrible because it was dark caves and caverns and kind of things. So the cameraman had the difficult job but we had the e easy <laughs> job of getting scared because it was something different and something new every year. So it wasn't as if we were repeating the same old, same old. We really legitimately had new things to have fun with. And uh, it was uh, the, the, the other big problem was getting Curly and I in the same small quarters sometime, and I think Captain Star might have been along, at, yes, he was, at least a couple of times. And then when the cameraman would try to get all three of us bunched together, it, it really became a physical uh, problem. But it was uh, easy fun, and personally, lots of fun for us at the Children's Museum. <laughs> About 15 minutes late, I hope we can find it. There it is, right there, Captain. See, right down the yep. way. I've been there before. I know. See, it's right down. And then they have all the rides. And, boy, you really have well, a I good time. I hope Curly's still waiting for us. Well, that's right. We're going to meet Curly, aren't we? Guys, I tell you, they're supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. I, I hope they're not in trouble. Hey, little boy, have you seen Harlow and Captain Star? Huh? Well, one of them's about this high, one of them's got beady eyes. Well, hey, look at, oh, here's that thing I told you about. Remember? Uh, the, no, you I, hit the hammer. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I just doesn't, I don't think I got the strength, you know, I kind of, kind of a bad arm. Remember? I oh, you can do it, you can do it. Now, see, just take them out. Yeah. Yeah. Grasp it firmly in hand and okay. hit it right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, help. Yeah, I kind of, one time. All right. Uh, got it. Got it. Got it. Here we go. All right. Oh, put it right down. Now, up and mm. Right. Well, let me get a better grip. Okay. I gotta get a better grip. Gotta hold it just right. Are you? Watch this. Kid. I, I, I won't do it. Oh! All right, all right. That's it. That's it. Oh! Ah, oh, oh. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. I got the idea. Now. Pop! Oh. Well, that's my bad arm. You know, I kind of. I was afraid this was going to happen. Now, uh, uh, excuse me. Now, look out. Oh, e oh, look at that. Wow. That? Oh, you want it? See, you showed me up something awful. Oh, boy. Well, I should have never tried. You go ahead. That's all right. I'll just rest. I'm kind of tired from running in the ghost ship. Oh, that goes home. Oh. Up. Look at that. Up. Really high. Up. Boy. Down. Boy, that'd be fun, boy, that'd be fun I think. Yeah, sure. Let's go, Harlow. Want to? Down, around. Well, like, look at all that shit. Down, around. Yeah, oh, boy. Come right. on, let's yeah. go. Come on, Harlow. That's not I very just, high. No, I just... Yeah, see, look up there. Uh, that's just for look at all the kids up there. A lot of fun. Come, Come on. on. Well, Come you guys, on. Well, what get I in there. Just Hurry get up. up. There, you know. Well, I get yourself it. down. Just, Move over. Move over. You're too fat, Harlow. Oh. I feel just a little woozy. Oh. There's a girl. You guys see the ghost ship? Yeah. Go back to the Boy, that was all right. I can't look. It's all over. It's all oh, over. Now we can get off. Uh, Boy, that was fun. That really was fun. It was good to get your I feet on I think he cranked there. it up on purpose because we were on it. Yeah. A lot of fun, though, after all. Uh, let's wait. Hello. Yeah, there's lots of fun. Come on, everybody. What else can we do?